Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in on this second block video on this trucking channel where we're going to be talking about anything that has to do with dump trucking right here in the Bay Area. As of today, we've been slow. There hasn't been that much work, so that's why I haven't been able to record that much of videos on the truck or having that much material. So today I got a last minute call. A uh, customer wants me to pick up drain rock from Aromas. That's an hour and 20 minutes away from the yard. We're based out of uh, Milpitas. Okay, so we're gonna go to Aromas, pick it up there, and then we're gonna take it to Gat. That's uh, probably a 35, 40 minute drive. Um, so yeah, right now I'm headed to the yard and I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the 10 wheeler. I know there's a, a lot of new drivers that don't know what's a 10 wheeler. For all the new guys to trucking, to dump trucking, this is a 10 wheeler. The only reason why it's called a 10 wheeler is because it has 10 wheels, as simple as that. Usually they're from 20 to 26 foot long tractor trailer combined. Uh, right now I'm doing my pre trip inspection. I like to lift my box, bring it down, lift my gate, lower my gate. Uh, I like to check my brakes all that good stuff because i don't have i don't want to have any problems later on the day um, some truck drivers after they come out of school they get lazy and they stop doing this this is very important and crucial to be safe and have a safe equipment so uh now that you know what's a 10 wheeler i'm going to be telling you about the advantages of driving a 10 wheeler and the disadvantages of driving a 10 wheeler. We are now done for the day. Uh, it was one load type of day. Uh, right now, as of January 2024, we've been really slow. Uh, I picked up this load at 9 uh, from Aromas. I delivered it by 10. It took me less than 5 minutes to unload, and then I'm going back to the yard. Um, I was going to talk to you guys about the advantages of driving the tent. Uh One of the advantages of the driving the tent is that Usually you work on site. You start from 7 a.m., 7.30, sometimes you start at 6. That's something right here in dump trucking. You don't know what time you're gonna start. Every day is different. But usually they, they work on those hours from 6.30 to 7.30 you start, and you stop at 3.30 to 5.30, so, something like that. Um, it's great. You work on site, you know the, the taco truck or the food truck's getting to you so you're not gonna be hunting for that you know where the bathroom's at you're not hunting for bathrooms at all that's one of the main advantages of driving a tin wheeler um, a tin wheeler's capacity is 12 tons so you're gonna be able to load uh, 12 tons of aggregate materials broken asphalt broken concrete gravel asphalt or landscaping material um, Legally up to 12 tons, but when you work on site, overload it. So yeah, I got back to the yard at 11:15. Uh, I got my six hours in. Not bad. I started. I got the call at seven. Got to the yard at eight. Got loaded at nine loaded at 10 and I got back to the yard at 11 15 so it's not bad overall it was a good day um, I'm gonna be trying making these videos not that long because I don't want people getting bored 10 15 minutes in I'm gonna try to make them, uh, nine seven minutes long um, so yeah the, the advantages of the tingler is that you don't have to be hunting for the food usually there's uh, food trucks getting by or dropping by the bathrooms man 
we truck drivers, it, it doesn't matter if you're on the road. Sometimes you struggle to get some decent bathrooms. So most of the construction sites have decent bathrooms. That's one of the main things. <laughs> For some people that don't know or don't struggle with those mundane things, I mean, once you start truck driving, you 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 know, okay. So yeah, I am done for the day, for the week. Till next time, I promise you, I'm gonna try to improve these videos over time. And yeah, till next time.